everyone and welcome back to my channel. So basically I feel like I haven't filmed in ages but I have. Um, I'm going to create this look today. I'm basically doing a full face using only drugstore products. These products are all still in the shop so you can actually go and purchase them. And yeah, let's just get started. with my baby skin this is the instant fatigue blur the warm apricot one this is more of a moisturizing one than the like sort of silicone based one but I prefer this because I have dry skin so it's a lot better So as you guys already know, I mainly do my brows off cam when I'm doing like makeup looks. But basically, if you want a brow tutorial, there's already one on my channel. So go check that out if you guys want to know how to do my sort of eyebrows, which I mean, they're not great, but they're eyebrows and they look okay. So don't forget to check that out if you haven't already. So for foundation, I'm actually going in with the Revolution Conceal and Define because this is like a really full coverage one. As you can see, my skin's kind of really red today. I'm not really sure why. This was like nine pound in Superdrug. I absolutely love this. I feel like I don't actually need concealer with it, but as I'm doing like a full face look, then I'll use a concealer and you guys will see that. But I'm basically just gonna pop this on my face and yeah. So as you can see, it's actually a really full coverage without anything else, but I'm going in with the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and Contour Stick. I didn't realise that. Um, mine's in a really pale shade. I like mine a lot lighter, so it like makes my eyes a little bit lighter underneath. But I'm just going to pop this underneath here and any of the bits that need doing. As you can see it is a really full coverage like I probably wouldn't wear this on a daily basis but for the next part I am going in with the PS My Perfect Colour Mattifying Powder. This is a Primark one as I don't actually use like powder very often so I don't feel the need to buy a lot of powder but I just pop this on anywhere. Must be one of the only girls that doesn't bake their face but I actually don't like it like I used to like baking my face quite a lot because it does give you quite a full coverage and like a very clear looking skin but I find like my highlighter doesn't come out as much and it makes me just, it just doesn't suit my face where I've got quite dry skin. So for the next part anyway, I'm going in with the contour and highlight kit by Collection, I'm pretty sure this is. Yeah, this one's Collection and I literally nearly used it all up, oh my god. But I'm just going to use the brown out of it. I do use the highlighter occasionally but it's not as popping as I like, so yeah. I'm using the Revolution Angel Heart Palette. It looks like this. It is so gorgeous. My girlfriend kindly bought it for me a while ago. And the first colour I'm going in with is just the like nude cream colour. It's just a matte one for my base. And it just starts my looks off. I always love to start with a nude look. I find it's easiest colour to start with and it's easier to blend with. And yeah. For 
for the next like color i'm gonna go in with the same palette and next to it there's this really pale pink and it's just a matte one and i love this color I haven't really used this palette often recently which i really want to use more so i might do like a look with it so look out for that guys another drugstore palette I'm going in with the Revolution Ultra Eyeshadow Palette by Soph and I'm literally going to go in with this bottom colour it's like a sort of pinky red colour just to blend in So using the same eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna go in with this like medium brown color. So it sort of gives it a bit more in my crease because I haven't got a lot of color there at the moment. So after that I actually went in with this like dark brown at the bottom just neutral it out because I didn't want too much of a bold eye today but if you want me to do a bold eye look then let me know in the comments but so far I think I'm just going to stick with this and then I'm just going to do my eyelids. So as you guys know when I do my eyelids I like to use my fingers because I find the pigments come off better if I'm using shimmer shades so for the shimmer shade I'm going to use this pinky toned one from the Soph palette. So that is my eyeshadow done. I'm gonna go in with mascara now and I'm just using the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara as I love this recently and just can't get enough of it. That is my mascara done. For lipstick, I'm actually going in with a new one. You guys haven't seen this yet, but I'm going in with the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And what shade is this? I don't actually know what shade it is. Does it actually say? I don't know if Glamour HD is the shade, but it's literally just this nude color and it's metallic. So it's like a metallic -y nude. I love this. I actually got this for £4 in like a little clearance section in Superdrug, and it's so nice. I am so in love with this lip colour and I've got to say it smells really nice as well but I'm really feeling this so for the last part I'm going in with the MUA Undress Your Skin and this is the Peach Diamond one so it's actually a pink tinted one so I've sort of gone for like a peachy look here which I really really like So this is your final look guys, I'm loving this peachy look, it's actually kind of cute, I might use this as like a more daily look as well, as it's getting like more into like, I don't know, I'd say springtime, it's actually not, but I don't want to be wearing like browns all the time, but anyway, give this a thumbs up, go click subscribe because we're nearly at 700 and that's crazy, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.